The year was 1968. Vietnam was raging. Tet, the bombings, the peace talks. Anti-war protest was widespread. So was anti-protest sentiment. The Reverend Martin Luther King and Senator Robert Kennedy fell to assassins' bullets. The world was seeing changes like never before. At home, Camelot appeared ready to fall apart. And there were big questions about how all of this was affecting the American young. Across the country, hundreds of thousands of high school seniors left the confines of their homes and schools for the confused outside world. Where are they today and how were they affected by those times and times since? Well, to say little or not at all would be off base. To say that the times had their effect and that most were able to adjust would be closer to what really happened to the class of 68. In June of that year, Claremont High School graduated nearly 600 seniors. It was an average American graduating class of the time, according to some of those who were in it, with an average American four years of high school behind it. Athletics, school functions, and involvement were big, and college after high school was still considered to be the best way to become a success. The politics, drugs, and individualism of classes to follow hadn't yet filtered down from the colleges, though change was on its way. I think 1968, 1969, and the early 70s were really a big decision time. In other words, uh, like I said, you had to worry about the draft, and the draft played a big part in a lot of people's lives. And I think, uh, you know, by the time everything was over and you didn't have to worry about that anymore, uh, people then could decide what they wanted to do. And when they did make that decision, it was so much different from what they had decided in high school and shortly after high school. Pulley left CHS for the drama department of Mesa College. From there, he went to San Diego State, took a degree in accounting, and then became a fireman. Sue Crownover Ferrara was CHS 68 senior class vice president, and today is an assistant bank manager. For Sue, high school then was what it should have been. Yes, uh, I feel that um, there's plenty of time when you get out of high school and into college or whatever endeavor you're going to be in to grow up and be serious and worry about the problems of the world, but in high school, sure, worry about your grades and all, but the social part, I think, was really building your character and getting you involved with people, and I really enjoyed high school very much. While Claremont High was fun, spirits high, for some, life after high school was a bit more difficult than life inside it. Charlene Kalyagar, a state scholarship semifinalist, works for the city of San Diego. She started UCSD as a French major, graduated UC Irvine in social sciences, has worked as an airline stewardess, a teacher, and at many other jobs. I don't know if it was because of Claremont or my background, but I don't think I had a real feeling for the fact that you have to plan your life and have some goals. I just thought that, you know, I was told a thousand times, if you go to college, you'll make ten times more money than the people who don't. And by the time I got out of college, I found that really wasn't true. Some say Claremont High 78 is a vastly different place than it was ten years ago. Less school spirit and pride, a bit more trouble, much less togetherness. There was trouble with drugs a few years ago, but according to one recent graduate, that happened during more frivolous times. Now, says the graduate, people are taking school more seriously, with an understanding that a good secondary education can mean a good start on life after high school, which comes on quickly and seriously. The last 10 years have gone by very quickly. It seems like yesterday except when I think of everything that's happened. Um, I never thought I would have had three children. I thought I would have graduated from college. I never thought I would have been married for nine years <laughs> by now. Uh -huh. um, it's not what I thought it would be, but it's, it's really good. It's, I'm really happy with the way things are now. The Claremont High class of 68 is holding a 10-year reunion July 29th at the Catamaran. This committee has been working more than a year organizing it, and they say they've contacted three-quarters of their classmates, most of whom still live in the San Diego area. In a short while, the class of 68 will be together again to reminisce and get reacquainted. Though time has passed quickly, hopefully it has passed graciously, and those who, after a decade, are reunited We'll share the philosophy of Claremont's Class of 68 newspaper editor. We look at, through the yearbook and we say, was that really me? And so, sure, that was me. Just minus a few curly locks here or a 
few more gray hairs here and there, but it's been a good 10 years. Doug McAllister, News 8, Tierra Santa.